Hello friend, in this video we will discuss how to read the bearing number and how to get the valuable information from the bearing number. So the bearing uh, number designation or the bearing designation is uh, not universally standard but, but in most of the cases the all company follows the same standard. The bearing number structure is uh, divided into three sections. One is a, a prefix. Uh, basic designation uh, or you can say the bearing number and the suffix okay so here you can take the example of the ntn radial ball bearing okay so here it is ts26206 x1 llb n c3 p5 2 as okay so here the 6206 so 6206 shows the bearing number okay and the uh, before the 6206 TS2 uh, it shows the prefix and the uh, 6206 uh, right hand side so it shows the uh, suffix okay so let's understand the uh, different types of prefix used in the company and the different types of suffix used in the company okay and also we have the bearing different types of bearings like uh, uh, here it is 6206 but here the four digit uh, shows the different different uh, values okay like in a six it shows the bearing uh, type of the bearing so in the type of the bearing so we have the different option okay so as per that the bearing number will change so let's discuss the prefix first okay the prefix generally shows the information related to the thermal stability and the material uh, in terms of the material uh, you can see with no prefix heat stabilize up to uh, 120 degree, degree celsius and also here you can see the ts2 so it means that the heat stabilize up to 160 degree celsius and also we have the option like a ts3 ts4 5s uh, 7m c3 okay so uh, different prefix having the different uh, description and the meaning okay so in terms of material if you see so here with a no symbol here it you can see the description so high carbon chrome bearing steel and f f means uh, uh, martin stick uh, stainless steel and n means uh, beryllium copper so bearing de designation generally uh, prefix uh, it, it will be available or it will not be available with the bearing number or uh, bearing number it will be available with a suffix or without suffix okay uh, any combination is possible okay so it depends on the company to company so uh, the different option they are providing okay so in skf uh, bearing so for the deep groove ball bearing uh, you can see the uh, code for the prefix okay so here table you can refer this one and the description you can check here okay so now move towards the bearing number okay here you can see the four digit uh, number so this four digit number shows the information related to the bearing so this one is a very important okay so the first digit here it is a six so this first digit shows the type of the bearing so which type of bearing we are using okay so this shows the with the first digit so in the first digit you can see uh, the table here so uh, different uh, codes are given for the different types of bearing so like uh, one is assigned for the self aligning ball bearing two is assigned for the spherical roller ball bearing three is assigned for the double row angular contact ball bearing okay so likewise you can uh, read here or you can take the screenshot of this one okay and so uh, this one place under first digit okay so here 6206 it means that it is single row deep groove ball bearing as here it is start with the number is start with the six okay and here in the 6206 the second digit okay the second digit shows the uh, robustness and the loading carrying capacity of the bearing or okay in which applications we can use the bearing so this second digit provide the information related to the robustness of the bearing so zero shows the extra light one shows the extra light thrust and two shows the light medium heavy application extra thin section means it shows with the eight digit uh, okay eight number and nine shows the very thin section okay so here 6206 it shows the light operations okay 
so likewise and the last third and the fourth digit shows real, uh, shows the inner diameter okay so it provides the information related to the inside diameter of the bearing okay so like uh, if the last two digits is 04 then we need to multiply 04 with a 5 it means that the inside diameter is 20 mm okay so here uh, the 6 to 0, 06 bearing so we have the last two digit is a 06 means we need to multiply with a 5 okay only we need to remember uh, 001 uh, 00, 00, 001 02 03 for that the inside diameter uh, is different okay so we we are not multiplying with the last uh, two digit uh, but for uh, uh, 04 and the rest of the all we, uh, we need to multiply with the 5 and we can get the inside diameter the last two digit uh, shows the inside diameter of the bearing now let's discuss the suffix okay so suffix shows the information or the gives the information related to the seal seal of the bearing and the shield of the bearing we are using here in the table you can see the different different uh, uh, suffix common suffix generally we are using the organization so you can see here like uh, rs 2 rs z 2z okay so likewise so and you can see the description of the uh, suffix okay in terms of uh, ntn bearing so you can see the suffix are different okay so it depends on the company to company how they are providing I mean, uh, types of the bearing they are providing the types of the uh, 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 shield and the seals they are providing okay so it depends on the company how they are uh, describing the uh, shield and the steel on the bearing okay so for escape bearing you can see here there are different suffix they use for the bearing okay so friend so we have discussed the complete uh, uh, bearing designation like a uh, uh, prefix uh, bearing uh, bearing number and the suffix okay so in detail we have seen the complete uh, designation so if you have any doubt you can comment here and if you like this video you can like share and subscribe the channel and also you can share with your friend so that we can spread the knowledge okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video